Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Gangsta Gangsta G Wait hollering at y'all. Um, been a minute since I made a video. Um, I think last time I talked to y'all, I was out in Washington. Yeah, I was getting ready to get my truck. Um, yeah, I was in Washington. Yeah, well, anyway, I was getting ready to get my truck. Oregon, that's where I was, Portland, Oregon. Uh, getting ready to get my truck. Um, went in, finished testing out. Um, they didn't have any trucks there. So they put me on the bus went to go down to Willows, California. Um, let's just say Greyhound ain't that great of experience, but you know, I did it. Um, got on the bus. Bus broke down in Redding, California. I'm trying to get my truck so I can get on the road and start making some money because y'all know I was in the hotel for the weekend. Long story short, bus breaks down. I end up catching an Uber. Cost me 71 bucks from Redding, California to Willows, California. Got there around noon, got my truck. Couldn't hit the road. You know, they didn't have a trip out for me. They finally got me a trip out the next day. Um, basically I spent three, four days running up and down the California coast. They supposed to send me home for home time since I have been out for a while. Um, ran up and down the California coast. It was nice sightsee, sight saw, whatever you want to say it, sightseeing. Um, California is nice. It's laid back. West coast is real laid back. I think I went over that with y'all before. But, um, to the subject at hand though, um, been running hard, been trying to get some miles. Finally got a run to go back home. Home turn is ATL. ATL. Uh, still representing the 305. Oh, no, y'all see the UL. Yeah, we love the Florida State, but you know what? We'll be back. We'll be back. So, anyway. <laughs> um. Learning stuff the hard way out here. Um, learning how to move the tandem, shipping your weight. Um, different shippers and receiver do different things. Um, I brought refrigerated. Um, just learning a lot of stuff. Learning how to play. Really take the time to learn the law. How to save your time and hours off your 70 hour clock things about that you know because you don't want to burn your clock up especially like me right now I'm trying to run on recaps to make it back to Atlanta I don't think I got enough recaps um, but I gotta make it home gotta make it home um, what else this it's just been an interesting week I'm trying to remember everything try to keep y'all up to date um, I covered the law I covered the tandem you know it's a lot of stuff they don't tell you um, you basically have to learn on your own, but like I told you The truck drivers out here is like family, you know um, It's a club. Yeah, you don't run across this and that but man everybody I met been awesome uh, white black Indian Chinese Puerto Ricans Cubans you name it. They out here um, Everybody's real nice. This is one big family a lot of truckers don't have CBs anymore um, the newer crowd, the older crowd, you know, they keep their CBs. It's great information. Get you a CB. No matter what somebody say, oh, you don't need one. Uh, get you a CB. You'll find out what's going on on the highways, the wrecks, the traffic jams, bad weather. Um, yeah, just grab your CB. Even this is a little cheap. Just grab your CD, CB. Um, you might not have to spend money on antennas. A lot of these trucks come. And tilt is built in pretty much like your new car antenna built in the windshield. Don't ask where it is on the truck, but you know. Um, some people are say it don't reach far enough. Mine's been working just fine. You know, um, good set antenna might run you eighty dollars and up. Keyword set of antennas. Then you got to buy the mountain brackets, put it on the truck, and if you're on a company truck, you don't want to do too much modifying. When I get my own truck soon. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. I'll go chicken lights and everything. Um, the 
past the time while I'm on the road, been listening to a lot of audio books. Uh, <laughs> I always heard people talk about the book The Art of War. Um, listen to it today. It's a real good book. Um, it's a game changer. It make you look at things a totally different way. Um, I forgot to get Su Song. Yeah, Su Song. Um, yeah. He, he did his thing. It was powerful. Um, yeah, I know I say um a lot. But it's been nice. Um, still looking at other options. You know, I definitely want to become an owner operator so I can start record, making real money. Give me a couple of trucks. We're keeping the lights on right now. But that's pretty much an update with me. Completed orientation, completed my mentor, completed the little 200 hours with my mentor, got my own truck, now I'm running. Um, I'm in Iowa now, probably be in Utah first thing in the morning. I'm probably about 10 miles away from the state line now. Get to Utah, try to get it wide open, try to run on my recap. Because I got to make it to the A, y'all. Trying to see my son, that's the last one left at the house. Um, like I told y'all before, if I didn't tell y'all, uh, I'm a single parent. Uh, three wonderful kids, uh, two different baby mamas, one was an ex-wife. Uh, God blessed me with custody of all three of my kids. But all of a sudden, I completed college. My daughter in her second year, if I did mention it before, I talk about my kids a lot, so I'm very proud of my children. Very proud, very proud. And the last one is in 12th grade. He's a very talented artist. Uh, the school he wants to get to, into is very expensive. So let's see how this works out. Let's see how this works out. Once again, thanks for checking out my videos. We're getting more content as we move on. Right now, I'm tired and give me some sleep. Pick it up, run it hard tomorrow. Try to company trucks ain't that fast, you know. It say 62, I think I'm getting 58 miles an hour. You got a lot of mountains out here and that slow you down to 35, 45 in these automatics. Um, try to hit it hard, try to get at least five, 600 out of my belt tomorrow. Push it hard, push it hard, push it hard. Like they say, run hard, run hard, run hard. Make that bread, that's how you gonna get it, run hard. This ain't no glamorous life. Um, basically, drive and sleep. Drive and sleep, drive and sleep. And tell you the truth, the driving part ain't the hard part. Um, dealing with the shippers, because each shipper got their own thing. Um, parking, parking is crucial, <sighs> real crucial. It's kind of hard to time, so it's hard to give you advice on it. Try not to make to the truck stops too late. If you gotta wake up four o'clock in the morning and start running, you know, any clock, get into a truck stop around 4, 5 that evening for stop packing up. Get you a good spot. You ain't got to worry about backing in. Oh, yeah, I'm getting pretty good on my back ends. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Um, still ain't got that blind side down pack, even though I had to do a blind side testing out. Um, I did do it. Got it in. It might have took me 20 minutes, but I got it in. Uh, yeah, but... The driving part is the easy part. Like I say, dealing with the tandems on the truck, trying to get that weight right, especially when you load it heavy. Different states like California, your tandems got to stay at 40 feet. So if you're ever at a shipper getting loaded and you're heading to the state of California, let them know because they know how to pack that truck. So it will weigh out correctly. You will hear the term 12, 34, 34. I mean, yeah. tandems, your steel wheels, and your trailer. You got to keep it on the way or the DOT going to pull you. You're going to get a Class A inspection. And even if you got a brand new truck off the lot, DOT going to find something wrong with that truck. Something wrong with your law book, they going to find something. So don't even get them... Don't even get those points on your CSA score. Um, I'll cover that one day too. Um, some of the other dri truck drivers might cover it in their videos. But you want to keep your CSA score down. 
Because once you get in this business, your license is your lifeline. You want to keep those things. And other companies will look at your CSA score. You know, if you're planning on bouncing, trying out this, trying out that. Um, right now, I'm pretty happy where I'm at, but I have had other offers. Um, I'm just waiting on the right one. If I can find one, make me an owner operator, hey, I'm ready to do it. You know, a lot of people say, wait, you know, learn the business. Yes, I'm learning the business, but like I say, the driving part is the easy part. As far as business, I done ran my own company before. Um, it was a great, I ran two companies. Um, personal business, work for myself, however you want to call it. Uh, first one wasn't so great. Second one, hey, I had a great ride, a great ride. So I can't complain. Um, my situation just changed on me. I looked at my wallet, saw my CDL, said, listen, there's another move for you. And so that's where I'm at. Anyway, I'm just rambling on at this point. I'm sleepy, I'm tired. Once again, no matter what platform you're on, I don't know the subscribe button on that side or that side, hit like and join me for some more videos. You guys be great. Gangsta, gangsta out. G-Wake. Peace.